Welcome back to another episode of King Krug Gaming. Before we begin the video, if you enjoyed this content, please give it a like, subscribe, and share this content with people who could benefit from it. I have an exciting video to share today. Two of our very talented players show us why they can 3-star any base, even with a blindfold. Hell, these guys can probably 3-star with their earlobes. These two attacks, they're doing a queen charge headhunter attack. You heard that right. We're using the headhunters as the main army comp these guys are crazy maybe they're just brilliant all right first attack we have your master aka bunk master nasty with the help of a baby dragon he cleared out some trash buildings to get the queen into the compartment he also used a super goblin to clear out a gold mine and set the queen into the right path he's entering the base cautiously and slowly and hasn't committed his healers just yet once he goes in deeper into the base he's gonna start to take a lot of damage with his queen so he needs to make sure he has those rage spell on speed dial he's funneled his king into the other compartment he'll take out the scattered shot which is crucial to helping out the queen the yak and the king will help out the queen as she moves along deeper into the base. The defender has placed all his heroes at 5 o'clock. That would probably be the ideal place to start his mass headhunter attack. The king is going low on health. He probably needs to pop his ability soon. The first scatter shot is down. He places his jump spell and it's going to give him access into the core of the base. He has access to a lot of key defenses here. Looks like the king broke through that wall and any more defenses that he can take down is always going to be a help the queen triggers the enemy clan castle they're coming out he'll have to place that poison there it goes she's under rage so she'll take them out quicker and the healers will keep her just barely alive he has to freeze that expo because she was taking too much damage and he really needs to get rid of the scatter shot i'm glad he's stepping up to it now it's a great use of the jump spell because once he gets rid of the scatter shot he will target the multi inferno and here comes the mass army of headhunters he freezes the heroes he has the warden behind them he dropped a total of 23 headhunters there's a lot of dps here so he probably wants to use the warden ability early on there it goes the headhunters will chew through the heroes but they do have to deal with a multi inferno there's two bomb towers and the builder huts parked behind the defenses make these attacks go a little bit longer because they put too much resistance as these builders keep fixing the defenses the queen was able to snipe off the town hall he pops a battle blimp right before they get to the town hall's poison area and he manages to take down a few of those teslas he froze the single inferno and used his royal champion's ability to take it down and it looks like funk master nasty wants to swag the heal spell with very little defenses left guys we're looking at a cleanup this is a three star all day up next we have Kerala's finest Besh. Samarda Tela deja mi cacharriti yil kalikanu. He's gonna start his attack by using the battle blimp and taking out the scatter shot. This will help him later on in the attack to have a good funnel and also to protect the queen charge. The yetis are working their way to take down the scatter shot. They move on to the cannon and hopefully they take it out but they're heavily targeted by the enemy royal champion. Now let's see where he decides to put his queen. Okay she's at three o'clock. What's really great about having the unicorn is that it helps you determine where your queen is taking her path and you can more precisely determine where you're going to put your healers for the attack earlier in the attack he used two hog riders to lure the enemy cc and now he's having his queen deal with it she will briefly be delayed by the enemy cc but she'll take care of it also he has his queen away from any defenses so he can save a rage spell and just use the poison to take out the enemy cc perfect poison placement it covers all of the lava pups he drops his king to create a funnel so the queen has no choice but to go into the compartment the first super wall breaker was a fail he needs to wait for his queen to be targeted by the defenses there goes the second wall breaker and he'll open up the compartment for the queen to go in he drops a coco loon to go into the compartment and pick up any seeking air mines to protect the healers as he's moving along into the base he has his healers at a good distance to protect them away from the multi infernal race there's no expos targeting the queen so he can delay from using a rage spell the king is taking a lot of damage though so he'll need to pop his ability pretty soon nevertheless the king has done a really good job of taking out all the trash buildings on that side of the base the Queen is now hitting the Ego Artillery. She will take it down. He still hasn't used a single Rage spell, which is pretty good. The Air Sweeper is targeting the healers, but it's working in his advantage. The healers are being positioned away from the Multi Inferno. Unfortunately, his baby level 2 Unicorn will go down. As the first Expo targets the Queen, he drops his first Rage spell. And we're underway. The Maz Headhunter army is coming into the base. He pops a Warden ability early to protect all of them. Once the Headhunters kill all of the heroes, they turn into these Super 
cool wizards that can jump over walls. The queen's taking a lot of damage from the expo and the enemy warden and the multi inferno is targeting the healers which isn't so bad because they're tanking for the headhunters as they approach to take down the multi inferno. He freezes the town hall to take it down without burning the queen's ability. He plays this royal champion and it's now fighting to take down the expo. The headhunters are making their way to take down the multi as well as the royal champion and now everybody is ganging up on the scatter shot. The queen pops her ability while the royal champion still has her ability and we can see as clear as an April morning that this is a triple. So what do we learn from this attack? That both your master and Besh are awesome but also you need to have a very strong queen walk and this attack probably is reserved for bases that have several heroes in close proximity. Drop an ice golem before dropping all of the headhunters and immediately pop the warden ability to protect all of the troops and voila you'll be able to successfully three star bases using this army composition. Of course it's easier said than done so make sure you practice. If you enjoyed the video or it was beneficial please like the video subscribe and i will see you freeze on the next one